Hello. Saturday the 17th of Feb and oh, I had a sunny day yesterday, but doesn't look to be appearing today. So I've got a few trees I need to repot and it's been a bit of a warm winter. So some of them are starting to bud. So I've got a bit of time today. Plus it looks like it's going to rain tomorrow. So I'm going to rattle these off. This is the first one. A Picea Glauca, Glossa. I'm not sure how you pronounce the Latin name. And it's actually one of my... No, it's not one of my favourites, but I do like the shape. Give you a little spin. So that I think somewhere there is definitely, definitely the front. Let's take them in slightly so you can see. No idea what the roots are going to look like, but in terms of the tree itself, I'm pretty happy with it. This could be one of those trees that the roots look horrific and it degrades it almost immediately, but we will see. I'm not going to put it in a different pot. I'm just going to remove the... Well, whatever soil it's in. And then I've got a tub of Kaizen number no. two ready mix soil there to help me out. What I might do, in fact, is once it's out of the pot, I might cut this pot down and just make it a bit shallower. Because there's no way I want to use this much soil when I'm repotting it. So let me get set up. Alright. I've got the camera zoomed in fairly closely. I might go in a little bit more because we're going to be focusing on the roots. I'll keep it there for now. So let's get this bad boy out. Even though we had a bit of sun yesterday, it's been raining quite heavily, so, yeah. Quite heavily waterlogged base. But, uh, roots look okay. A lot of fine roots. Oh, it's very wet. I can squeeze the water out of it. So let's get in and see what we've got. There we go. So reading briefly online, these do not handle the removal of, of too many roots. So all I'm going to do is see what we've got and then if there's any drastic work that needs to be done that's glaringly obvious, I will tackle that. But if not, I'm going to try and pretty much leave it as it is. I'm bring this up a bit closer to me. There we go. So this, according to the pot, cost £11.99. I was just on a quick Google search. And to be fair, when I bought it from the garden centre, uh, where the garden centre was it from, doesn't say. It did stand out because of the, the sort of trunk style. But I just had a quick look online this morning, and you can pick these up online for five, six pounds. There's a sale on. So, obviously, we 
what you don't have when ordering online is the ability to know what sort of tree you're going to get. So there's a couple of thickish roots wrapping around. Which is not too surprising given it's been in a circular pot. As I said in one of my other videos, this is probably my least enjoyable part of this hobby. I know some people really love refining roots and you know I've seen videos of people treating the root structure and, and rightly so probably treating the root structure with as much detail as the upper tree it just does not interest me and in fact with all the repotting I've got to do today I probably won't do it all I'll do four or five I think um, yeah, it's just a necessity rather than a pleasure. So I'm going to cut this video out here. I don't think you need to watch me doing too much of this. And then I'll come back in once we've got a bit of progress. Okay, so... That's most of the soil removed. And underneath, there's a couple, that's a problem. So I'm going to take that one off. And then there's all these upwards pointing roots, which ideally I'd want to lose. Let me get rid of that problem one first of all, and then we will make a decision. So I'm going to take it off in segments just to be sure of what I'm removing. Still needs to come off. So it looks like this was... The tap root. It's come down and then around. And it's just too thick. So it needs to come off. What did I say at the start of the video? Wouldn't be trimming too much off. Might leave it there. Okay. My uh, phone tried to install something, so I'm not sure where that cut out. But I've cut that tap root down, probably more than I wanted to. Now here, you can see just how far up and out these roots come, and I don't want that. But I'm going to take them away one at a time because I want to try and keep as much of this root itch as possible. that has to go. See that was an incredibly long one. What I can do is I can get rid of most of the problems now, or some of the problem roots now, and then once it's had some time to grow more I can then come back to it. So the other side of the tree very little. I've got this one coming outwards which I want to keep. So what else do I want to get rid of? That one. Hmm. 
a really hard, thick, gnarly root under here. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to call it a day there, I think. So I'm just going to... Short on those. That one definitely needs to come off as well. Struggling with a camera angle so that I can also be comfortable while I'm doing this. back on itself. Don't want that. And that one goes sideways as well. So get rid of that one. This one wraps over. That can stay actually. I think that will do. Took more off than I wanted to. But I'm relatively happy with that. So this is going to go into here. As you can see, I've trimmed it down. Um, it's still quite deep. I might actually take another inch off this pot. I shall be back. Okay, so... That's where I'm at. And actually, I feel okay. I feel okay about that now. <sighs> this pot's got quite a lot of holes, which means a hell of a lot of gauze, but they're quite large. Soil's just going to fall through otherwise. <sighs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I might see if I've got one big patch of gauze that'll fit it. Right, these are the gauze patches that I've got. So, let's see what I can do. I'm not going to bore you with me putting the gauze in, but um, they're not quite big enough to fill it completely. In fact, centrally. Okay, in a diamond, two, maybe the, cool. solve the problem, but Might be easy just for me to cut these up. Oh, it feels like it's going to rain as well. Great. Okay, so the wire I'm going to be using is this. Must be 0 0.5 gauge. It's extremely thin. I got this free from somewhere, so I'll make use of this and get it ready. All right. That is... The pot done, so that will stop the soil falling through the holes, but still allow the water to drain. And I'm going to put. Some... Actually, before I do that, the next question is: 
do I want to wire this in? And I think the answer is yes. Just to err on the side of caution. So, let's get some of this wire. So wiring the tree in will just keep it a little bit more stable when it's in the pot. And stop it moving. So what I'm going to do is thread this piece of wire through there. And this piece of wire through that hole. And that will likely be enough, but I'm just going to use a second piece in the other direction. So that can go through there. And then through there. Perfect. So we've got four pieces of wire if needed to pull the treat downwards. Okay, soil time. So as I said at the start, this is from Kaizen Bonsai, their number two mix, which is a pretty decent all-rounder. And in fact, I've got a big delivery of this soon to arrive. Hopefully this weekend. So. So this, oh, there's an upwards route at the back. I really want to to pull downwards. I think that will possibly be okay. I'm just going to add a bit more soil before I do the wiring. Just help keep the tree in place. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is tighten the wire so that it grips the tree around its root base. And keeps the tree snug in the pot. A little bit more. So I pull the wire up and then twist, taking up the tension. Pretty happy with that. And then in the opposite direction. Oh, schoolboy error. The wire is too short. 
Well, you live and learn, don't you? I mean, that's quite stable as it is. So now to get this root, these root, these roots mixed in thoroughly with the soil. So I'm just trying to remove any any big air pockets. And, you know, like, in fact, like the whole of this process, this part really bores me, but it is important. Go around it all a second time just to be confident. There's a root that's sticking up, and I'm just going to remove it. That's that back one. I did want it to go downwards, but and then I could. In fact, what I'm going to do is put a small piece of wire. I'm going to see if I can pin that. Down into the soil. It's not really taking because this soil is quite coarse. Oh, that might have done it. I think I've done it. Okay. There's a big air pocket just appeared right next to the base of the tree. So it's worth taking your time. There's a root that suddenly appeared out there and a little one there. I'm going to snip them ones, they're only small. the end of the wire and just give it one last there we go super rigid in the in the in the pot I'm not too worried about that wire showing actually I won't cut it off this isn't gonna be on display anywhere. Okay. That it's not quite straight. But do you know what? That would do. I'm happy with that. Repot. <sighs> 